Hey guys, it's Kate and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be what I got for Christmas, both my stocking and my general under the tree presents. I have done this every year for probably the past like 10 plus years that I've been doing YouTube and I just love these types of videos. Not as everyone puts the disclaimer out in a way to brag, but because I think it gives such a good sense of the person and it gives me really good ideas for my family and friends for next year as well. So I just love sharing with you guys. I kind of don't really consider it any different than a haul other than rather than buying this stuff with my own money, it's things obviously that were gifted to me by my family and friends. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stop talking and get into my stocking first. So I have showed you guys this stocking before. We got this a couple of years ago, handmade on Etsy. And so it has my name embroidered on the top with this beautiful light baby pink fabric that has blue and red flowers all over. It is absolutely stunning. These two things were in my stocking and I don't know how my mother packed everything in here in the way that she did, but I could not get these back in here. So I'm gonna show you these first. This is something that my husband picked out for me, and it is a Gemini um, charm on a simple chain. I am a Gemini, obviously. <laughs> uh, May 21st is my birthday, but my husband's birthday is May 1st, so I love things with mine or his, which is Taurus. Um, I love things with his initial. Him and my mom share the same initial. Her name is Amy, his name is Abel. So I love things with the letter A, I love things with the letter K for myself. Just those really simple charms I think are just a really good way to personalize and add some really nice flair to any outfit. I also got this Piper K bobby pin set. These traditionally pull out my hair. Um, I have really thin, kind of like delicate hair. And so these will generally, when I take them out, like pull out four or five hairs with them. But this Santa, how can you say no to that Santa pin? So I feel like the four or five baby hairs that I'm gonna risk are gonna be worth wearing this pin. So cute. The next thing I have in here is some claw clips. This is the first one by the brand Lulu, and it is gold with pearls all along the outline of it. I love claw clips. I honestly have a basket probably about yay big in my bathroom full of claw clips. So Lord knows I don't need any more, but they're just such a simple way to add a fun piece to your outfit. This one's by Sunday State, and they are bows in silver and gold. I thought were absolutely so cute. Um, these sunglasses my husband picked out for me, which makes me love them all the more. I feel very Elton John in them, so I'm very much feeling my Elton John era going into 2023, but I think these are going to be perfect for the summer, honestly. So cute. Then we have another hair accessory. These ones are hair ties, and I really like that they have in the center here um, this kind of crystallized bead. And then you get silver. Uh, two blacks. This black has definitely more silver thread through it, but this one's just a pure black, gold, and pink. Really fun holiday colors. Then I have a little body loofah. This is great. I need to replace mine in the bathroom, but it looks like this is probably actually supposed to be on this side, if I'm going to be honest, because I feel like you would put your hand through here and then scrub the loofah all over your body. So that's really nice. And this one was by Eco Tools. Yes. And it's a beautiful baby pink. Then this, to kind of go with it, is a bar of soap in the scent Candy Cane Mountain. I actually have both a bar of soap and a liquid soap in my bathroom, like by the sink when I'm washing my hands, washing my face. So this one's gonna be really fun to add. <sighs> Candy Cane. Why does can of cane and peppermint and mint smell so good? Then I also have this hair wrap. Um, this is an absolute necessity. For us here in Florida, last week it got down to the 30s, which was extremely uncomfortable for us Floridians, but definitely also when we go to Alaska in July, this is gonna be 
a need and the interior of it I just flipped it inside out so you could see is kind of like fleece lined so it adds that extra warmth which is really nice and I love that it's in a nude color because it's going to go with everything and then the last thing in my stocking is definitely I think a gag gift but I kind of love it it's this corn stripper my husband got me this because this front tooth right here is actually a um what's that called a crown I guess it's it's a fake tooth it's not my real tooth um, so I can't bite directly into things like apples, corn on the cob, things like that. I don't have that access with this tooth. So he has to, or my mom or whoever, I can do it. I'm 30 years old. I just don't like to, um, cut all the corn off of my cob and then I can just eat the kernels. And so I guess he got me this corn stripper so he doesn't have to do it anymore and I can do it by myself. But um, I kind of like being taken care of in that way too. So I might just tell him he can use this to strip the kernels off the corn on the cob. Um, or off the cob for me. But he thinks he's funny. Alright, that is everything in my stocking. So we're going to go ahead and move into my gifts. Um, I'm going to start with some of the bigger ticket items. I guess just because... I really have everything stacked in this gift bag, um, and that is just what's on top. I'm not really going in any particular order other than that. But this is a gift that made me cry. Um, so this year, I decided, let me see if I can get my rings off. They definitely fit me very snug, <laughs> which I mean, I think they're supposed to. They're not supposed to come on and off of you so then, or you know, so easily. So this is my wedding band set. Um, this is my actual like wedding band this one this center stone the marquee was actually my grandmother's and then we had it placed in this ring setting this ring setting is not the ring setting that i got married in um, i had a different one that was actually a twisted band and it never laid flat against this wedding ring there was always a gap and i didn't like that so i ended up changing the style um and then i just got I mean, that was maybe a year or two into our marriage, so I still have had this style of ring for several years now. But I just got this anniversary band this year, and it is matching. I had it personalized or custom made to match my wedding band, but it's alternating um, diamonds and citrine stones, which is the stone for November, which is the month we got married. So I kind of like al along the same vein of um, things that are Gemini or Taurus or the letter A or the letter K. I love getting things that are emerald, which is May's birthstone for my husband and myself. Um, or really, I've been loving getting citrine things. So my mom coordinated with the women that helped make my customized ring. And she had them make this citrine necklace and I cried when I opened it <laughs> oh my gosh I love it so much it is so beautiful just to have some real pieces in your wardrobe or your jewelry wardrobe I guess your jewelry collection um, I think it's so important because it of course it's so fun to buy a little ten dollar target piece um, but to have some real pieces that are going to last the length of your lifetime and potentially be passed down to your children I think is really memorable because I mean I have my grandmother's stone in my wedding band so it's very very uh, meaningful to me and I cried <laughs> um, and then the next guy that of course is a big ticket item for me is my nutcracker I generally get one of these every year but they are pretty pricey so sometimes I don't um, and I mean and that's it's definitely not something I ask for it's something I always hope for but I know that they're expensive so I'm always very grateful when I do open one on Christmas Day this guy is an Irish chubby is what they're called when they're a little shorter and a little more round and he has got shamrock on his little buttons down his jacket he's got a little bird and a Christmas tree he is just beautiful and of course I mean he is a functional nutcracker Holly on his hat. I mean, he's just absolutely stunning. I have 10 nutcrackers now. He makes number 10. Um, so I have quite the little collection. Probably if I've got 
some time, I will pop in a little like pan of all of them lined up on our shelves. It's a little crazy. Um, and then the last big thing I got was this. Um, this was absolutely, I'm sure, unnecessary, but we know how I've been feeling about Sony Clover. It really kicked off last Christmas when I got my first crossbody bag and I have really been uh, collecting and uh, piling on the pieces throughout the year. But I do not have a duffel and with us having so many vacations coming up and honestly just doing a lot of local hotel stays at the Disney resorts and things like that, I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of this. It's a beautiful baby pink. It has big jewels down the front straps. And then I'm going to hold it up closer so you can see the stitching is different Disney princesses. So you have Aurora, Snow White, Jasmine, Merida, Mulan, Rapunzel, Cinderella, Tiana, Ariel, etc., etc. So I absolutely love that. All right. <laughs> I know that was a lot of really big things at one time. I'm gonna move on to the other stuff. Oh, and I mean, obviously this is also a really big thing. I was really spoiled this year, you guys. I'm not joking. Um, my husband got me a new camera and I'm purposely not filming on it yet because I wanted to show it. So really from after this video moving forward, I'm gonna be using my new camera. Um, so the one I'm recording on now is a Sony. I'm actually reading like the lettering around the outside of the frame. Um, it's an E three and a half to five and six tenths PZ 1650 OSS. I don't know what any of that means. I'm definitely not like camera or technology savvy. Um, but he went to the, I believe, local Best Buy and him and my mom let the salesperson know kind of what videos I do and things like that. And this is one that they recommended for him based on that description. So this is also a Sony. It's a Vario Sonar 1 and 8 tenths to 2 and 8 tenths and 9 and 4 tenths to 25 and 7 tenths. I'm assuming that's like the different video quality or the zoom capabilities. Um, but what's unique about this one, besides the size, it's significantly smaller. Mine's probably about here. But it has a twist out or swivel out feature. So when I am filming, I can see what I'm filming here. But I can also see myself, which is great. Because with this camera that I'm currently filming on, I would hold it out and film. And just hope that I was getting myself in the frame. I couldn't see. So this is going to be really good for that. And they got me a little vlogger kit. It's actually called a vlogger kit now because so many people are influencers and have social media as their actual job. So I just think that that is so crazy because, I mean, like I said, I've been doing YouTube for 10 or whatever years. It's never been my job. It will never be my job. I do it for fun and for me. But it's crazy that that's like so normalized now because none of this stuff was available when I started. It's crazy. Um, this is like a little Sony stick, so you put your camera here, you screw it on, and then you can hold the stick rather than holding the camera itself. And there's also modes on there, so you can um, take a photo or start and stop recording from here instead of on your camera itself. So that's kind of crazy. Also works as a tripod, so you would just prop it up. You would just there we go <laughs> so you would just put it on like that like a little tripod and my husband said especially for the time lapses that I've really been enjoying doing and things like that this is gonna be fantastic for that so I'm very appreciative it also came with an extra battery which is great because Lord knows I go through batteries and then finally this little wind puff this guy's so funny so you can take off this little shoe cap and insert this in place so it blocks all of the wind noise um, in the microphone. So, so, so excited to play with all of these items. Super, super spoiled in that regard. Okay, moving on to some smaller things. This is my um, box 
for my necklace. I kept it because I figured if I was going to travel with it, I might want to put it in its own box rather than like a little jewelry holder. I'm not sure. Okay, so I wanted to make a correction in my um, Christmas haul. There wasn't a haul like what I got for Christmas. It was the stuff that I had purchased for myself throughout and to prepare for and enjoy the Christmas season. I showed this shirt and said I got it from Target. That was totally a lie. I got this from Old Navy because, and I totally forgot until Abel opened his present, I actually got us matching pajamas this year. So this was my matching pajama set. I got the little shorts and the Feliz Nada Vidad shirt. And then I got Abel the same shirt, but then pants, not shorts. So I wanted to show that um, in this video to make that correction. Um, because these were our Christmas pajamas this year. Oops. Speaking of pajamas, I got a sweet set for my mama. Really sweet little pink seersucker shorts. And little roughly strapped tank top. So cute. Oh, grabbing stuff out of the bag. Then some, oh, another pair of pajamas. Let's do all the pajamas. I feel like I always get so many pajamas during Christmas, but it really is the time of year where you just want to snuggle up and cozy up. This one's a good night kiss is the brand I'm assuming. It is a long sleeve pants and socks set. So the socks have little bunny faces on them. The long sleeve shirt is pale baby pink. And then the pants are pink and gray check absolutely love those then I did get the Hamilton Skylar sisters spirit jersey after we saw Hamilton um, I knew th that this was definitely something that I wanted they didn't have it for sale at the little pop-up shop at Dr. Phillips but when I looked online um, they had this available so I sent it to my mom and my husband in hopes that I would get it and I did. Um, this was another thing I actually found. I think I found this on my Facebook ads or something and again sent it to them. It's from the brand Life is Good and it is the Grinch holding a Life is Good mug sitting on a couch next to Cindy Lou and she's actually reading the original How the Grinch Stole Christmas and Max is sleeping at their feet. Um, greetings from Whoville. But I'm going to hold it up a little closer so hopefully you can see Cindy Lou and that cute little Grinch book that she's holding. Absolutely love it. Then my husband got me these socks which are so funny to me. They're packed to look like, like a poke bowl. Um, so there's like a little avocado, different veggies, and like sesame seed rice, but these are actually socks. So now that I've shown you, I can, I want to take one out to see what it properly looks like. Oh my gosh, yeah. So this is, so there's probably three pairs I'd say. So this is one pair. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Oh, they have it. Um... Oh, okay, so they have it like rubber banded to make the different shapes. So I'm going to have to take all that rubber band out, but it's actually two pairs of socks. One, and then the little avocado again. They have it all rubber banded. Um, oh my goodness. How funny. Okay, so I guess here's the avocado. And then the back is magenta. Those are so funny. <laughs> oh, okay. Too cute. Cute, cute, cute. Love. Ooh. Okay. Then, speaking of socks and cozy things, also got this Brookstone Luxury Loafer with Cozy Lining and Grippers little slipper set. I've been rocking the slippers lately. I got a pair for Halloween from Target that I loved. And then I had this uh, Mickey Christmas pair that I've been wearing that I got from the outlets over the summer. So I'm excited to be able to slip into those now that Christmas is over. Did get a Teddy headband. Um, I wear these 
every morning and night when I am washing my face or when I'm doing my makeup, I'll put my hair up in this as well. So these are definitely something that gets a lot of good use. Then I have this Tokyo Disney Resort hat. So my husband actually spoke to, I think he, when I asked him, he said it was eBayers that um, sold Tokyo Disney merch. So he got me this little Mickey Mouse beanie that says Tokyo Disney Resort, where dreams come true. And this is a park limited item. It has the tags on it and everything. Um, I'm actually gonna take my little top, my little top knot out and try this on um, because when we were opening presents as well I had my hair up so I knew it wasn't gonna like fit me properly so just excuse the tag for a second oh my gosh that's so cute so I'm it's interesting because I'm used to beanies that go like significantly lower like almost to or past my eyebrows and like down and over my ears but this definitely just sits like right on the top of your head um so you guys will have to let me know how I look because I can't see but I imagine it looks really cute <laughs> that is so fun oh my gosh I love it all right well my hair is staying down the rest of the video because I'm not going to be able to <laughs> put it up without seeing it um but this is the piece that he got me from Tokyo that I was like um, so this is the Tangled Popcorn Bucket. We watch quite a few different Tokyo Disney YouTubers. We watch TDR Explorer, Chris, and we watch Magic Journeys, or Janelle and McVie, I believe is how you say his name. Um, they're foodie vloggers, Magic Journeys, and so they'll show a lot of food-based things and popcorn buckets and stuff, but Chris, TDR Explorer, actually is based in Tokyo, and so he is one that showed this off. And what's so beautiful about it, just like the floating lanterns in the movie, is it actually glows. Oh my gosh. And on the strap, which is also beautiful purple, you have Pascal. So when you're holding him, or you know when you've got this on you, he's like on your shoulder you guys <laughs> so I know this is a popcorn bucket but I feel like I could definitely put like a wallet a phone you could let me get this off of me so I can show you you could definitely fit quite a bit in there if you wanted to take this like as a bag as an accessory to a Rapunzel bound I think would be so good I'm just saying all right then I've got two pops for my husband the first of which is this Whitney Houston pop. I've always said that her song, I Want to Dance with Somebody, is my Vecna song. So if you guys watched the newest season of Stranger Things, the villain in that show, or in that season of that show, Vecna, if you listen to music to like ground yourself back into reality, you can escape him and his clutches, essentially. Um, so Sadie listens to Running Up That Hill, and that's why that Kate Bush song became so popular again. Um, but definitely I Want to Dance with Somebody is my Vecna song. I can listen to that song on repeat a hundred times without fail, and it's just the best song ever. It puts me in the best mood, genuinely. So this is Whitney Houston, and she's actually wearing the outfit from that music video. So that purple sleek little dress, those colorful earrings, that 80s blue shadow. I mean, just looking like the diva that she is. She's absolutely stunning. So I really, really love that pop. And then he got me the red Panama pop. She is a big girl. She's so cute. Um, I love that they made her a larger pop since she, as the red panda, she is quite a bit bigger than she is when she's just Maylin. Um, but absolutely excited to have her as well and then um I just have my makeup palette and then I wanted to show you what Tom and Josh got me and then that is it oh and my perfume okay um so I have never owned anything Kylie Cosmetics but I saw this on Instagram and Wizard of Oz is one of my favorite movies so I kind of felt like it was a need just based on the collaboration alone um here is what the colors look like I especially love I'm Melting. 
so good. But then you do have a highlighter and a blush in here as well, which is a really nice, like all in one palette. I think this would be great for travel because you've got everything together. And then the other beauty thing that I got is the Dot by Marc Jacobs. I love their this whole collection. Um, he's got like a daisy one, um, several different scents within this collection, but this one smells really good. I'm the worst at describing scents. I wouldn't know how to describe this to you. It just smells like a little more mature than Victoria's Secret or anything, um, but it just smells really good, really classy. It's a classy perfume. All right, let me speed through the things Tom and Josh got me. So got some Mickey socks that have mini Mickey, yeah, mini Mickey, black and white little ankle socks. Always can use ankle socks, so cute. Then um, for their anniversary, they went to California and it was actually Tom's first time on that side of the coast. So I'm sure that that was so fun for Josh to get to see his reaction. Um, but they did do the WB tour because we had talked about when we went how much we loved it. Um, and they brought back for me the Central Perk Spirit Jersey. So it says Central Perk across the back. On the front, you have the famous couch and then the print on the jersey itself. It stopped recording. I don't know where it stopped. I'm hoping it was when I was showing the friend spirit jersey. Um, oops. <laughs> so it's got little coffee beans. So, so cute. And he said that they, when they gave it to them in the bag, they provided this really fun friends tissue paper. So I'm totally going to keep that and use it for something. I don't know what, but I'm going to use it for something. Then at Disney, they got me these little emerald earrings. Just had that whole conversation about how I love anything May and Gemini and emerald or November and citrine or initials, um, zodiac signs, anything personalized like that. So these are so, so cute. Absolutely love those. And then probably the thing I was the most shocked by was they got me the Scarlet Witch ears and bag. These have still not been available on this coast. And I'm fairly certain on Shop Disney they are on some serious back order. So I am so stoked to have these. I know Cassie from Cassie's Castle got these and actually bejeweled them. And I don't know if I'm brave enough to do that because I don't want to ruin these ears. But how phenomenal would that look with the actual crown part to be completely bejeweled? I think it would look sick. Um, but here's the bag as well. So I'm so excited to go back to the West Coast where they have Avengers Campus. I just got that Scarlet Witch shirt from Box Lunch that I showed you guys in a previous haul. So I'm going to be like fully Scarlet Witch ready. Um, and I just cannot wait. So that is everything. I have so much stuff surrounding me. It's a little bit intimidating. I need to go put all of this away. But I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas. That it was warm and cozy and special. And spent with the people that you love. And that love you. Definitely I know that Christmas is fun. When it, the gifts are involved. I mean for sure myself included. I do like receiving gifts. But I love giving gifts as much, if not more. But the best time of Christmas is really just spending time with your family. So getting the time off with my mom and Abel and getting to go to Christmas dinner at Enzo's Hideaway with Tom and Josh. Like that, those are the memories that you just cherish so much. And I'm getting weepy, so I'm going to go <laughs> or start crying. Um, but please make sure that you give this video a like and uh, subscribe if you're not already and if you're in the mood for watching what I got for Christmas videos I'll link all of mine down below like I said I've got like 10 at least um, so you can just binge and it'll be a great time see you guys later